There's a letter on top. I am well, but we all know when Strout is happy, we are all happy. Please help me and create his favorite dish, the tiramisu. I hate tiramisu. I have enclosed in this cozy box items that will help you. Buster the cat. That's uh, Strout's cat right there. <sighs> Shit, tiramisu, I hate tiramisu. Cornstarch doesn't really have a flavor, so I'm not too worried about this. <gasps> Like how, oh, oh, this is, this is awful. Put it in the fridge until I have to drop it off the strout. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna put this aside and uh, I'm gonna load up some for the judgment. There we go. Can you see me? Is everything okay in the background? It's <laughs> stable. Carol, you, I said, Nick said five seconds of quiet. Sorry. We are all on Zoom right now, eagerly awaiting the long anticipated results to the disaster cooking challenge. Challenge, apparently Mike needed to put together some kind of extremely detailed video. This makes me feel like he enjoyed some of it, right? I think he enjoys trashing on us. Um, he so. probably needed, you know, he probably needed to recover. As a viewer, you might not know as much about Mike Strout because he's usually behind the camera. Um, but he is often bitter um, and often begrudging, but does so in a loving way when he has to help us film. So for him to put effort into actually judging this instead of just taking a, a bite of my goop and saying, Ty lost, um, is a big deal, so. Well, at the very least, we know it's gonna be oh, really no. pretty. Love Here we go. I don't know why I'm always roped into this kind of sh So maybe a little bit ago, the Haunt Me cast decided they wanted to cook something and they're about to drop it off and I'm gonna judge it. So this sounds pretty awesome. In between seasons, I try to see the Haunt Me cast as little as possible and they keep, they keep bringing me into stuff like this. Just leave me alone, guys. Just leave me alone. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. We are finally here today to name some bizarre winner in this challenge. All right, so the winner of this competition, uh, and there's really no winners, there's only losers, which is going to be myself from having to eat whatever they make me, um, is gonna be eight different criteria that I judge them on. It's gonna be up to 20 points that they can get, and whoever gets the most points wins whatever BS prize that they wanna give themselves or whatever this is for, I don't really care even a little bit. So for number one, we have the pre-rate. Uh, so let's start off with Thai. Uh, I don't have a lot of faith in Thai for really making any sort of dessert. I mean, have you seen the kid? I mean, Thai's idea of a, a dessert is like celery dipped in prune juice. Yeah, hard pass hey, on whatever he's making. Yeah. I'm going to pre-rate Thai zero points. I don't think he's gonna make a good, great tiramisu. Um, I'm going to give Anna uh, one point for this pre-rate. Um, I think Anna by herself could really, really do well, but there is the Johnny factor that we need to worry about. Is he going to try to get his hands in there? Is he going to be distracting Anna? I think that sort of wild card could throw a wrench in whatever she plans tonight. Okay. Uh, and then finally we have Carol who will tell you and whoever she passes on the street that she is Italian. I would hope that she would be able to make a decent tiramisu. Um, so yeah, two stars for Carol. What's the big surprise? Is anybody surprised? I really hope that the Hummy cast doesn't ruin tiramisu for me for the rest of my life. Just like they've ruined other things. They will next be judged on their entrance. So as I've said before, I don't want to see the Hummy cast even a little bit. And here's exhibit A on what not to do. Ty is just running up to my steps. He's trying to talk to me. He's forcing uncomfortable eye contact. Pass dude. Luckily I was able to shake him, but zero stars, Ty. Zero stars. Anna did quite a bit better. She was slow and steady on her approach. Looking down at the ground, she backed away slowly. 
and I did a picture perfect job of how I want to interact with the Haunt Me cast. So um, two stars for Anna, great job. And last on the delivery was Carol. The last time I was here, I was blindfolded and we played that touch game. I don't really enjoy waiting around for my tiramisu, but Carol had an ace up her sleeve. I love sweet tarts and I absolutely 100% can be bribed. You? Two stars, you Carol. Bribed him? Can you that's see the right, sweat bitch, though? Like on my forehead I'm and shit? It and is that's a scientific business. fact that more tiramisu is better than less tiramisu. So we're gonna weigh each one and whoever gives me the most gets more points. And I pack that Tupperware full for two points. Ty doing well for one point. Not really sure what the hell Carol was doing here. I expected more, really, from from her. So this is very, very disappointing for me, Carol. Strout is jealous of the amount of dairy that I can consume. All right, the fourth thing that we're going to judge on is how visually appealing, and let's get right into it. Uh, Carol's is looking a bit like tiramisu nuggets, maybe. Maybe a little <laughs> yeah, cakey or dainty. Oh. I'll give her a spot. Just look like a dried up Whoa, chicken nugget. Whoa, Ty's coming in steaming hot with some dusty tiramisu turds. It is an That's enigma. So much worse. It is insane. I once played it, it, it looks really even worse with a little tiramisu diarrhea on the side. That's zero points, Ty. Zero points. And here we have Anna's, which looks like actual tiramisu. Thank God. It almost looks like a tiramisu cream pie, which honestly sounds fantastic for me. So uh, right off the bat, Anna's is already looking the most appealing to me. I'm going to give her two stars for that. Um, can I say it's a dream come true? Can I say, is that weird? Is that weird? All right, so our fifth ranking criteria is a little bit unusual in that I'm going to rank how my cat, Buster, reacts to the tiramisu. I've been known to fall asleep halfway through my nightly tiramisu, so it's important Buster not find it appealing enough to eat. Buster didn't really know what to make of Anna's dish. He correctly went for his own food though, so two points for Anna. Buster wanted no part of whatever Ty was serving up. Two stars for Ty. I'd say he probably skipped that on Ty's mostly because it looked like his own litter box and why, why would you eat poop, so... It's crap. Uh, Carol's was a bit more concerning and Buster gave it a few sniffs before moving on to his own food. Um, Buster didn't need any, but I suspect that Carol's looked a little bit too much like canned cat food, so uh, maybe that's what drew Buster to it. So only one star, Carol. Who's got the food? All right, number six is the taste test, and this is actually worth four points, so a lot of points here, guys. The first up on the tasting is Ty's. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, so let's actually go to Carol's first. Let's let's save ties for later. Uh, Carol's looking kind of Bismarcky. It looks like it could be interesting. I think we did a good job, but let's give this a taste. Well, it's compact. It is compact. It is compact. Yeah, this is pretty much like 99.9% .9 ladyfinger. Like if we could get some Hershey syrup in there or something. There's really nothing offensive about it. Um, doesn't taste bad. Um, I kind of expected more from Carol. Um, being Italian, it tastes fine. Not your best effort, Carol. So I'm gonna give two stars for that. All right, so next we're gonna do Anna's, who probably the most visually appealing. Kind of looks like, like a cream pie, something like that. Let's give this a go. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Maybe it's worse. Yeah, this is pretty good, Anna. Um, very, a lot of cream in there, um, but really yeah. you can never have too much cream. I'd say it's pretty strong on the espresso or the coffee on bottom, but it's pretty, pretty good. I would definitely eat this. Um, I probably will eat this and I have like 13 pounds of it. So this is fantastic. So pretty, pretty good job, Anna. I'm going to give you four out of four stars for this. This is, this is not bad. All right. But we didn't know it was on the cheese. Yes, we have to do ties now. I think Mike's gonna put a good effort into it, but he has no idea what he's actually up against, and I do. All right, here we go. <coughs> Every atom in my body rejects it when it is inside of my mouth and traveling down my esophagus. So a lot of chocolate, a lot of chocolate dust. So this is pretty much just all, just one big giant sugary, chocolatey mess. It actually doesn't taste that bad, Thai. It's definitely not tiramisu. I don't even know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is what you call diabetes. Um, 
runs in my family and I might have gotten it just from trying your tiramisu right here. Thank you. I have a huge sweet tooth and this is even a little what too much sugar for me. What did you do? Yeah, I'm, I'll give you two stars oh for this guy. Yeah, definitely I, two stars. Stars. I think that's the most proud of Did you I've see it? This that was awful. What we do. All right, so for number seven, oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. 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 Strout, can you stop doing that? All right, so for number seven, we have the midnight snacking criteria. Uh, so I've been known to wander around in the middle of the night to get my tiramisu on. Anna did pretty terrible here, mostly because I ate hers during the day. Uh, so zero stars, Anna. Uh, poor showing. I'm outraged. Carol's is more or less cake, which is prime time midnight snack territory. Uh, I would definitely plow through this after some 2 a.m. Firefly reruns. One star for Carol. And lastly, we have Ty's, which is exactly what I wanted a midnight snack. Ty's tiramisu looks so unappealing that I would probably just go back to bed, which is honestly best case scenario. I don't get all sugared up uh, and have trouble sleeping at night. So good job, Ty. Like a goddamn champion. All right, we are on our eighth and final criteria. Um, this might be the most important one. After a long, grueling day in the office, I don't know who doesn't love to come home, hop in the shower with a cold beer and a slice of tuna soup. Uh, first up was Anna's slice, and even though it was the best in the normal taste testing, it didn't fare very well here. It really didn't absorb that shower water as much as a good tiramisu should. Zero stars, Anna. She didn't really quite plan for I don't the even, I don't shower even know tiramisu, what, I don't and that's really said. disappointing. I'll me. All right. Carol's did much better in this taste test. Carol's was a bit cakey, and that really <laughs> played well. I can't handle this. Two stars, Carol. There's a it's beer. It's down. Sour. It tastes like water to me. Honestly, it tastes like water. Um, and lastly, we have Ty's, and Ty really knocked this one out of the park. It was a match made in heaven with my shower beer, and it gave me just enough kick to keep me coming back for more. <laughs> Four stars, Ty. Four stars. Great job. Shower tiramisu. <laughs> yes. I, I didn't even know. Room, that's okay. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> All right, fam. I was getting ready to tally scores and it's come to my attention that Anna used some chicanery to gain a competitive advantage during this competition. <laughs> As I strive to be a beacon of truth and hope in this world. He is a person that just exudes caring and good energy. It is with a heavy heart that I must dock Anna four points and divvy them up to Ty and Carol. <laughs> Nah, you cheated. I'm just joking. <laughs> Plus three points to Anna for resourcefulness and not making me choke down whatever Ty and Carol made me. Yes, that sounds great. Let's do that. Ty, minus one point for not even reading the packaging. Come on, bro. I'm not talking Carol any points. Honestly, that packaging probably had some tough words for her. Where am I right now? I don't know. And there you have it. Anna is our big tiramisu winner tonight. Congratulations, Anna. Now haunt me, please don't drag me into any more of these dumb challenges, and here's hoping that I don't die from whatever you guys gave me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ty, first of all, Ty, don't just sit there and don't Give him that look. Um, this went off the rails, too. guys. I'm not gonna sleep. I don't know what to do with all this information I just gathered. Yeah. God damn. Here's to the next one. Here's to the next one. That's right. We'll be back next week. To the next one. For the next one. <laughs>